So what I have here is I've just got some different structural details here. And what I want to do is actually convert one of these to a block. So I'm going to start my, my block make command here. I'm going to just type B and hit enter to, to start that. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to call this, um, you know, detail um, stairs, let's say. And I'm going to pick my insertion point. It's going to be this point down here. Let's turn our object snaps on. And the objects that I want are going to be these ones. And I'm going to allow exploding. I'm going to force it to scale uniformly. It's drawn in inches. I'm going to click OK. And what is done, it's gone through and converted that into a block. Well, I'd sure like to take this and I'd like to drop it into um, a different drawing. Now, blocks and their block definitions are actually stored within the drawing itself. One of the easiest methods to take this and actually drop this into another drawing is just use your copy function. So I'm going to say copy with base point. I'm going to take this corner here. So it's just right click, right, to get that. I'm going to go into the next drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click again, go into my clipboard. I'm going to say paste. And we can see that I can come in here and I can take that, um, that detail and I can drop it in there. So if I take this and take a look at my, my properties, on this what I can see is that it's it's a block and I can see it's got the exact same name so I use the Windows clipboard to take that and copy and paste that in there okay well the the next one I want to do is I'm gonna go back to my drawing here and using that same copy paste functionality I'm gonna come in here I'm going to select this geometry I'm going to right click go into my um, clipboard option and use the same copy paste option I'm going to go back to the drawing. Now, if I was just to use the regular paste in this instance, what's going to happen is I'm just going to hit the regular geometry, and I actually want this block together. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go to my clipboard option. I'm going to say paste as block. So what it's going to do is bring that geometry in, but if I take a look at this and go into my properties, what I can see here is that it's just given it um, a random name. I mean, it's random to us, but I mean, AutoCAD um, has some uh, intelligence behind naming this. So now that it's come into a block, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the rename function. So I'm just going to type rename here on the command line and hit enter. And what I want to do is I want to take that block that I, that I copied in there. And here's the old name. The new name is going to be detail and it's going to be, um, you know, my entrance. And I'm going to click OK. And what it's done now is taken that and renamed it. So if we take a look at the properties again, I come over here into my palette. I can see that the, the entrance here um, is the new name of the block. So that's kind of one way where you can go into the drawing and you can copy and paste it. Now, if we kind of kick it old school and think about how, um, you know, back in the day, um, and there's still some validity to this, but what you can do is just have a directory of drawings and all those, all that drawing contains is the geometry that you want to be able to insert as a block. So it gives you a quick reference to go into the directory, grab that drawing, the entire drawing as itself and insert it into the drawing. So going back to this one, what I'd really like to do is I'd really like to take this shape here and I'd like to build it into its own drawing so I can insert it. So I can kind of build a, a library of, of symbols. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use what's called right block or world block, but it's actually referred to as the W block function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type, um, I could obviously type the whole W block. What I'm going to do is just type WB, hit enter. And what it does is it starts the right block function. Now notice what I could do is I could come in here and select a particular block that I want to write out on its own. I could actually take the entire drawing. So it actually becomes kind of like a copy function, right? I'm going to get rid of all the paper space objects. I'm just going to take the model space job objects. I'm going to, I'm going to copy them into their, its own drawing. In this case, I, I've got some objects here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this. In this case, I'm actually going to use the, the midpoint here to select that. The objects I want to take um, are these ones here. So I'm going to window select those. And let's come in here and let's actually set a location for this. So I'm actually going to pick my, my vault working folder here because that's where I like to store all my data. So we'll put into here. And what I'm going to do is just so we can see this, I'm just going to call this, um, what should we call this? Let's call this my uh, W detail, right? So that's that, that drawing that's going to end up creating. Now, when it takes this information and writes this out, should it retain the geometry, as in you'll leave it as it is in the drawing, convert it to a block as well. So we'll actually create that drawing 
and take the object that's selected and convert it to a block? Or would you like to delete it from the drawing, right? I mean, I've created it in his own drawing. Do I really need it in this one? In this case, I'm just going to convert it to a block. I'm going to click OK. And what I can see is it has taken this object and has converted this into a block. Okay, now let's go and open that. So I'm going to click open here and I'm going to take that, that W detail there. I'm going to click open and notice that it has taken that geometry out. It hasn't blocked it in here, but it has taken that geometry out and it has t kept with it the layers that are required for this particular geometry. So you can see how I was able to extract that with that W block function. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take this and I actually want to insert it into this drawing right beside the other two. So I'm going to use my insert function and I'm going to insert a block and I'm going to go to my more options because what I want to do is I want to browse. And where I want to browse is I want to browse to my vault working folder into my, whoops, where I had saved that. And notice I'm able to take that as an entire drawing and I'm able to insert that in as a block. So it's going to take that entire um, drawing, all its geometry, its small space geometry, it's going to copy that in and actually build a block definition and then insert that into my drawing. So I'm going to specify on screen, I'm okay with the scale and the rotation, I'm going to click OK and notice how I'm able to go in there and insert that information into my drawing. So again, you can actually build up a, 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 a directory of, of blocks. You got all your toilets and your sinks and your, and your nuts, bolts and washers. Um, but it gives you that mechanism to insert them. Now a little bonus treat here is I've got this, this 344 uh, drawing here and um, I'm looking at the, the layers that are in here. So let's go back to the home tab here. I can see that there's quite a few different layers in here. So what I'd like to do is actually copy this layer scheme here into that other into this other drawing because if I look at this one I, I started this one I drew everything on on layer zero and I can see I don't really have many layers here um, you know if I take a look at my my block list here I can see there's really not much going on in this drawing so I'm going to go to my insert tab here I'm going to click insert and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say more options I'm going to click browse and I'm going to select that drawing so which drawing do I want to insert this is actually the drawing I want to insert and I'm going to click open to load that in there. Now what I'm going to do is when I click OK to insert this, before I actually pick a point, what I'm going to do is just hit escape. Whoa, 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 back up. What did I just say? I said what I did is I hit escape because I don't actually want to insert that drawing in there. I was just really after the, some of the information about it. So notice that by doing that, um, it brought in all that layer information um, with it. Just that process of clicking OK to insert it. If I take a look at my block insert drop down now, notice I'm going to come in here is that that drawing is located here now. So it's actually existing um, you know, as a block definition within the drawing, but also all the blocks within the block are also there. So if I didn't really need this here, I could run a purge and get rid of it. But you can see it's actually kind of a neat mechanism to insert a collection of standard layers and standard blocks. So what you could do is you could just have a drawing hanging out that's got no geometry in it. It's got your um, your um, you know layers, your standard layers, and some of your standard blocks, and you would just insert that, hit escape, everything gets sucked into the drawing, and you're off and running. So I just wanted to take an opportunity just to, to show a couple mechanisms for sharing information or sharing that blocks. There's our good old copy and paste, and then there's that, that idea of you know, W block and storing the drawing as a separate entity so that you can insert it in as a block.